Welcome to South Florida Saltwater Fishing. I'm Heath, and it's time to get into the bite. Dolphin in the boat. Oh my God. Woo! Double in. Right there. Let's do this. Let's do this. That's mutton snapper Let's right there, this. baby. Let's do this. fishing gear to use, when to use it, whether it be a spinner or a conventional reel, what line to put on it. Just wondered about all this stuff when it comes to saltwater fishing gear. Well, in this episode, I'm gonna try and answer some of those questions for you by going over my saltwater fishing gear arsenal. I'm gonna go over my saltwater fishing gear, the rods, the reels, and what line I have on them, when I use them, what I use them for, and what I catch with them. Before we get into this though, if you want to learn more about fishing, grow as an angler, or just see some great and exciting offshore fishing adventures, you can start by hitting the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss a thing. Okay, I'm going to start out by saying this episode is going to be a comprehensive rundown of my saltwater fishing gear. Behind me is what we're going to go over. It is all of the rods and reels and setups that you've seen me use throughout all of the past episodes. Now, I do have a few other setups that I take out with me if we bring out friends or family or someone and I just don't have enough gear to cover them, but it is not what you see me use. In this episode, we're going over exactly what you see me use and when I use it, how I use it, and again, what I catch with it. So let's get into this. Okay, so the first rod we're going to go over is my go-to rod that I always keep a white bucktail spro jig on. This is a Penn Spin Fisher 5500. It is on a 7-foot Penn Battalion rod. It's a graphite rod. It's very strong. This rod is also wrapped in carbon fiber, which makes it really tough. The line that I have on this particular reel is Mamoy in the color smoke blue and it's 12 pound test. And then I have about six to seven feet of Seaguar red label 20 pound test fluorocarbon on it that's attached to the white bucktail jig. The Penn Spin Fisher 5500 holds 270 yards of 12 pound test monofilament. This seven foot pen battalion rod is rated for the 12 to 20 pound class. This reel, sometimes I use it for yellowtail fishing. It is my main yellowtail fishing rod. It catches yellowtail no problem. When I'm not yellowtail fishing, it always has the jig on it. I troll this jig, put it in, troll it, six to eight knots, good to go. I also use this setup for just traveling around and let's say I'm trolling or I'm running and gunning and I see fish busting on top, I see a dolphin, I see tuna, I can pick it up at any moment's notice, pitch the spro jig out and get the hook up if I'm lucky enough. But like I said, this reel catches yellowtail, it catches dolphin, it catches bonita, it catches tuna, it catches kingfish. It catches everything. It takes a licking and it keeps on ticking. Does fine. I've had it for many years. This is not one of the newer model Spin Fisher V's. I got this reel, I believe, about five years ago, which would be 2015. As you can see, this setup is a weapon. It's one of my go-to things. I use it a lot and it's always there and ready for me. Extremely versatile, extremely dangerous, extremely effective when it comes to saltwater fishing. So, just because it's small does not mean it's not powerful and mighty. That's the Penn Spin Fisher V5500. Next is Penn Battle 5000. It's on the same rod as the Penn Spin Fisher 5500, a seven foot Penn Battalion rod. This particular setup 
I use for a couple of things. I use it for high speed vertical jigging and I use it for slow pitch jigging. It is spooled with 300 yards of 30 pound test J braid on top of 100 yards of 12 pound test smoke blue Momoi monofilament. And then I have about a 15 foot liter of 40 pound cigar fluorocarbon on it. So that's the line that this has on it. The Pen Battle 5000 holds 250 yards of 12 pound monofilament. If it was spooled entirely with braid, it would hold 405 yards of 30 pound braid. The seven foot Pen Battalion rod is rated for the 12 to 20 pound class. Extremely shock absorbent, extremely effective for putting the brakes on that fish and getting that hook up, making sure that your rod is doing a lot of the work to set the hook. Remember, this isn't fishing where you yank back and you set the hook. Your rod and your line do the hook setting for you. Like I said, I use it for two different types of jigging. Spinners are very effective for high speed vertical jigging. I really like it. The slow pitch jigging, not so much, but I do enjoy really beating up on the Benitas when they're making their annual run north. Take it out, do some slow pitch jigging. One of the most effective ways to get Benita, have fun. Make a day out of it so I can stock up. Good to go. Not only does the pen battle catch Benita, catches many other things. It catches amber jacks, groupers, mutton snappers, rainbow runners, all the fish you can hook up with while you are vertical jigging. That's the pen battle 5000. The next reel I'm gonna go over is the reel that seems to be the magical hookup reel for me. This is a Daiwa black and gold 60. And it is on a six foot six custom chaos rod. This reel is spooled with 20 pound smoke blue Momoi. And there's no leader on it. I have it hooked up with a snap swivel because I do a lot of trolling with it. The black and gold 60 holds 225 yards of 20 pound monofilament. This rod is rated for 15 to 50 pound class. Now I say this is a magical reel because it seems to catch everything. This reel catches large dolphin. It catches bonita. It catches kingfish. I've even caught white marlin on this reel. This reel has also taken on wahoo, cobia, barracudas, groupers, many things. The black and gold 60 also does its fair share of slaying on the tunas and bonitas. This thing will lace into tuna no problem. I use this reel mainly when I'm trolling. There's something that is just right about the balance between the reel, the rod, and the line that is on this one that seems to make most of the fish go after it. It's just got some sort of right harmony behind it that entices that impulse to feed and fish. That's the black and gold 60. Next in the lineup is another Penn Spin Fisher V. This is a larger one. This is an 8500. I have this on a seven foot star rod from the Paraflex series. This reel is spooled with 20 pound smoke blue Momoi monofilament also. Penn Spin Fisher V 8500 holds 440 yards of 20 pound test monofilament. This star rod is in the 16 to 30 pound class. It's got great shock absorbency. The shock absorbency is very important for the methods and tactics which I use it for. I use this rod for a lot of trolling. Trolling for dolphin, trolling for big game fish. I also use it when I'm flatlining out for kingfish, drifting. The kingfish rips that line out of my hand and I set the hook. It, the rod bends over and the rod sets the hook for me. That way I don't have to yank back on it or nothing. That's that shock absorbency factor that I'm talking about. It's 
great for it. I also use this rod to just set out live baits when I'm refishing. Also, I'll set out a drifting bait if I'm out deep dropping. This is the go-to rod for setting out baits. It's got a lot of line. I can just let the line go and leave the bell open or I can shut it and drag my bait through the water. Whichever I may choose to do if I'm in exploration mode. This rod catches all sorts of big pelagic fish. This rod catches dolphin, it catches wahoo, it catches bonita, tuna, barracudas, cobias, groupers, snappers if they come up and eat the bait. Hook sailfish on it and it is a boatload of fun when you get sailfish hooked up on this particular rig. Again, multiple uses, multiple tactics, very versatile reel. And that is the Penn Spin Fisher 8500. Now we're going to go over one of my specialty favorite rods. This is my slow pitch jigging rod. This is an accurate boss from the Fury series at 600N. That stands for 600 narrow. It is spooled with 900 yards of 30 pound j -brick. That's right, 2,700 feet worth of line packed on this little tiny rig. The rod that it is on is a seven foot star rod from the handcrafted series. The rod is rated in the 15 to 50 pound class. Now I don't just use this particular setup solely for slow pitch jigging. I also use it for deep dropping for gray tilefish, also known as blue line tilefish. The rod has great shock absorbency to really stop the fish in their tracks and get the hook up. When slow pitch jigging, this reel catches everything. It catches bonita, it catches mutton snapper, it catches African pompano. It'll catch, on a rare occasion, the rainbow runner. When I've been slow pitch jigging, I've caught trigger fish no bigger than my hand on it, too. Up in the water column, it will also pull a dolphin every once in a while out from slow pitch jigging. And as I said, I use it deep dropping in the five to 600 foot range to catch blue line tile fish. This setup is a workhorse. All right, the next reel I'm gonna go over is the Pen 12H. Straight out of the 1980s, but like they say, these reels are built last. It is on a seven foot star rod from the handcrafted series rated 15 to 50 pound class. It is spooled with 300 yards of Andy pink monofilament. So I use this rod for all sorts of different things. I use it for trolling. It'll catch dolphin, it'll catch bonita, it'll catch tuna, it'll catch sailfish, it'll catch wahoo, it does great. It's, it's got plenty of line on it. The rod's got plenty of shock absorbency to help set the hook and stop the fish. Now, I also use this rod for fishing deep wrecks. I'm going for big mutton snapper, big African pompano, cobia, grouper. And one of my other favorite tactics that I employ with this particular setup is high speed trolling for Benita. One of the most fun things that I love to do. It is one of the most effective methods right next to slow pitch jigging. That high speed trolling for Bonita. Can't ever get enough of it. And on this little reel, oh man, it's super fun. A good thing about this setup also is that it's light enough that you can just troll around and hold it in your hand while you're trolling if you know there's fish in the general area and wait for the hookup. That's one of the greatest feelings when you're trolling, holding the rod and you feel the hookup, you feel the bite, and then you start peeling out line. Never gets old. Like I said, this is the discontinued Penn International 12H. Now we're gonna get into some heavier duty fishing gear. This is a Penn International 30. It is on a seven foot custom chaos rod. This reel is spooled with 30 pound clear Andy monofilament. And on top of it lies a 300 yard top shot of 80 pound break. 
This setup is used for one thing and one thing only. For planer trolling. This setup catches three main types of fish. It catches bonita, catches lots of large bonita when they're on their annual run north. It'll catch wahoo, but mostly this setup is a kingfish slayer. This is the go-to setup for when I want to go out and hunt down kingfish. It's not very versatile because of the braid. It will do one thing for me. I could use it to do other things, troll all sorts of stuff and put a nice top shot on it, but I don't really feel like modifying it. This is my planer trolling setup. Now for planer trolling, you do have to adjust your presets and make your drag tight. That way you don't get what's called creep when you are trolling, which is basically line pulling out and you're not noticing it because it's not a fish really tearing out drag. Plain, simple, done. Pan International 30. Super solid, tough reel when it comes to planer trolling. And next, I have another Pen International 30. Spooled entirely with clear anti monofilament 30 pound test. This is also on a seven foot rod, but this rod is from the manufacturer AFCO, the American Fishing Tackle Company. Solid rod. This setup has been around in my family for a very long time, since the 90s, and it's still ticking, doing its thing. I use this setup for big game trolling. Big dolphin, marlin, sailfish, bonita, tuna, giant barracudas, wahoo, any of the large pelagic species that want to dare to come take this on, they can feel free to. They will more than likely lose. It's always fun when you get a fish hooked up on this and it is peeling out drag and you got to slow it down a little bit, take it down a notch, and get that fish in the boat. If I'm out in the unknown deep blue water, it's always good business to bring heavy duty setup. Granted, I do troll with spinners for dolphin, but I've learned my lesson over the years that when a marlin comes up and eats that lure, lots of times you lose that battle. Having out the heavy gear like this ups your chances of getting the fish to the boat. That's the Pan International 30. Okay, now we're really gonna take it up a notch. This is a Pan International 30 TW. That stands for tournament wide. It is on a five foot six bent butt rod from Coastal Fishing Equipment in the 50 to 80 pound class. All roller guides. This setup I use mainly for high speed trolling for big game fish, such as Wahoo and Blue Marlin. I can also use it for standard trolling for the big pelagics. If I feel like setting it out and I didn't bring one of my other internationals, this one will definitely take them on. Might take out a little bit of the sporty flavor of it because of the power of this setup, but hey, if I'm looking to get the job done, this is definitely the reel and the setup to do it with. It is spooled with 50 pound clear anti-monofilament. This is a heavy duty rod. This is not a toy at all. This is not for sport. This is meant to get fish to the boat. So if you're looking for something that's really heavy duty and you're going to do some serious fishing like high speed trolling you're going to have to get gear like this it can take the pressure it can take setting the hook and the shock absorbency this rod as you can see is stiff but when you're going 18 knots and that fish hits and it goes against your rod 40 miles an hour backwards you're talking about a total of around 60 miles an hour hundreds of pounds of pressure put on this. This rod's going to bend and this reel's going to scream. You're going to need power like this to take on those situations. Again, Wahoo and Marlin. This is the setup that you're going to want to be using to take on fish like those. And finally, we've got my electric reel. The Daiwa Tanacom 1000. This is on a six foot six Daiwa Tanacom bent butt rod. 
This reel is spooled with 70 pound braid. It holds 700 yards of that. It is spooled all the way to the core with braid. There is no underlying monofilament, straight braid. This reel has the line capacity to get me down there in high current situations of the Gulf Stream. Gets me deep enough to go after tile fish, both blue line and golden. It'll go deep enough. It'll get me out there on the black belly rose fish in 800 feet of water. I can also go deeper and go for barrel fish. I can go for sword fish. I can also high speed troll for wahoo and marlin with this reel if I want to. This reel is extremely versatile. What it does is it takes out some of the extreme labor of hand cranking in massive amounts of line has many functions. You can go from metric to English, which reads in meters and feet. Set the auto stop to anywhere you want, depending upon the height of the gunnel the boat you're working in. You can also put it on what's called auto jig. This reel will jig for you. But mostly, this reel is famous for deep trapping. It's gonna catch you tile fish, both blue line and golden. It'll catch those deep grouper, those large snowy grouper. It'll catch barrel fish. It will get you way down there. It'll catch swordfish if you're lucky enough to find one and get hooked into it. One of my favorites to go after, which is almost a guaranteed thing if you land on them in the right spot, is black belly rosefish. That's the Daiwa Tanacom 1000. All right, folks, that about does it for this episode. I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned a little bit about the decision-making process that goes behind what saltwater fishing gear to use, when to use it, and what you're going to catch with it. Till next time, South Florida saltwater fishing, going wherever the cool wind takes us.